There is a critical unmet need for pediatric medical devices that are more precise, less invasive, and less painful for children. In June 2013, key stakeholders convened in Washington, D.C. to discuss innovative device development and how it is impacted by the regulatory environment. Hosted by the Sheikh Zayed Institute for Pediatric Surgical Innovation at Children's National Medical Center, this symposium gathered an unrivaled set of leaders who are advancing this work. The dream is to bring innovation to surgery for kids, to make surgery more precise, less invasive, and pain-free. Our goal here is to create new pathways for bringing things forward. To start talking about how do we do better as far as bringing product to market, lowering costs for healthcare, and also still providing safe care for the patient. Sometimes you have wonderful ideas, inventions, but there is no commercial application because the market is too small. And this is particularly true in the pediatric field. The whole issue of development of devices for children has been, if you will, an orphan product. And I think that anything we can do through this conference and then following it forward with actually the development of these devices is going to improve child health. Particularly happy to see that what we know has worked very well about promoting orphan drug research is now being used uh, to develop medical devices. Uh, it's a model that has worked uh, and it had to be done for devices and I'm very glad you're doing it. So we brought together all the stakeholders that are involved and, and required in terms of advancing innovation. It's going the right direction now and meetings like this are what make that obvious because here you bring together all the parties. We invited so many people from legislation, research, bioengineering. It was the, the confluence of so many different groups of scientific and regulation individuals who will open the dialogue to make things go faster in the safest way possible for patients. Then you can think through the whole process of, of uh, product development um, and get beyond what most of us do, which is just the first part of that process. But we don't know how to push it all the way through to commercial development and getting it out to other patients. The folks who are going to be attending this conference are among the brightest of all physicians. And this group of folks are a set of connectors. They will take this information back, share it with many others, who because they're generally acknowledged as being la creme de la creme, uh, will have greater credibility as they share it. I love the idea of this conference. Here we can develop ideas about how we can nurture our innovators and at the same time protect our patients. Many of the innovators, uh, especially coming from pediatric specialties, now realize that there are opportunities. In this one place you have all of the people who are either doing the work or making the decisions about how rapidly the work can be done or how it can be funded, all together uh, talking about ways of, of moving things along much more rapidly for children. This is a wonderful venue to begin this national dialogue, this international discussion amongst multiple stakeholders. It's about allowing people now to train not simply in disciplines, but in thinking and to become multi-fluent. It takes a community, and what you've seen today is really a community of stakeholders and, and, and key opinion leaders who really care about children and how we want to advance this. To recognize one of the young innovators as a first Sheikh Zayed Prize in innovation. And this year's awardee is Dr. Hyungbae Kim. Dr. Kim, congratulations and thank you for your critical work in improving medical care for children. Today really allowed us to meter out what the issues are that need to be addressed. It's almost a call to action. We've each got to determine, based on the new data that we have, what do we do differently tomorrow? 
I think this is the opening wedge. Giving them a voice and providing services to children is something that's only beginning to be recognized. We're going to find new ways to talk to one another, new opportunities to partner with one another. This type of symposium was wonderful, but I think the audience is a lot broader. I think it's a larger community, and the more this information gets disseminated, the better off we'll all be to really bring the right people together to make a change. Innovation is not an individual effort, but a team effort. And this is a, a reflection of it and reflects a committed and passionate people who are interested in advancing pediatric innovation.